AI and the future of cities. The year is 2040. Climate change destroyed this earth. Now there is no food, no water, no future. What is the future of cities? What concepts can frame our understanding? Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? The future will be hyper-real. Hyper-real means the overlay of abstract maps over physical reality. These maps have been developed through GPS data of human activity. Cell phone data of the movement of people and cars through the city are the most fundamental, but all activity will be mapped. AI will take big data spatial maps and learn how cities function. From this, cities can be modified using hyper-real maps. Urban space will be transformed into a hyper-real object, hyperspace. This place will be more real than reality. Hyper-real maps work in three phases. First, maps model reality, a description of the concrete. In the second phase, hyper-real maps mask and pervert the city. Finally, hyper-real creates a new world that has nothing to do with physical reality at all. It is pure simulacrum. People living in cities will first notice their lives positively influenced by maps. Everything is available to them. But this will give way to confusion when people can no longer tell what is real and what is hyper-real. Finally, people will live in an imaginary world of fantasy, a utopia. Cut off from nature and reality, people will confuse signs and socially constructed maps with the real world. The future will be on demand. AI will predict the needs for production, distribution, and consumption. It will monitor all consumption in cities from products and services to transit, water, and electricity. It will monitor all financial transactions and create models of functional requirements for cities. This will create on-demand production, distribution, and consumption. People will get what they desire before they even know they need it. This will eliminate advertising as people's desires will be met immediately. No need to convince them of what they want as this has already been monitored and given to them. Capitalism based on advertising will fade away and a new hyper-capitalism will be developed based on on-demand products and services. As self-driving cars become the norm, there will be no need for parking spaces, parking lots, or parking structures, as self-driving cars will pick you up on demand. There will be no need for mass transit, buses, or trains. This will open up huge areas of land in the city for development. Rides will come on demand to any location in a city. Places once difficult to access will be opened up making new density in neighborhoods possible. City infrastructure will be automated, digitized, and controlled by AI. Cities will be smart, made from a network system of monitoring and control. Globalism will end as AI will create on-demand products close to where they are consumed. This will end the need for war as we know it. Cities will be controlled by AI. If people are disciplined through the built environment, as Foucault states, hyperreal cities will be controlled by digital machines. Foucault thought people were disciplined by the hospital, the school, the church, the factory, and if need be, the prison. People moved from one institution of discipline to another as the built environment creates a functional system of discipline. This was best illustrated in the Panopticon, a prison where prisoners were always observed, forcing them to alter their behavior. AI will be created for cities of control, where people will need passwords, credit cards, or cell phones to access basic services, to move through space, or to access nature. Digital machines will be the gatekeepers of all city services. People will be constantly monitored in all transactions, and this will change human behavior to conform with social requirements. 
there will be no need for police, laws, or prisons. It will be far worse to be locked out of the city than to go to prison. Machines will talk to other machines. In this system of machines, humans have no privacy rights, no laws, and no written contracts. Rather, machines will communicate with other machines to create efficient city functions. Privacy will be a thing of the past as machines have no privacy rights. Digital money will be programmable. AI will put money into people's accounts and can take it out if not spent as intended. Governments will be able to automate inflation or deflation, encouraging people to spend or save. Financial transactions will be transparent to AI, making money a digital panopticon. Smart homes will monitor food in the refrigerator, time spent sleeping, working, and playing. I'm Jamie Roberts. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Your feedback directly informs the AI algorithm to show my content on demand.